Sorry, bear with me one moment. I'm just trying to make the lights evil, but right now it's set to disco. There we go, evil. Hello there, my friends. My name is Kevin. Sorry about the pajamas. I know it's not as intimidating, and I didn't have, like, a white cat to make it, like, super evil, but I got a penguin. Um, yeah, today we're going to be playing Evil Genius 2. I got the evil part down now. I just need the genius. This video is sponsored by Evil Genius 2, so thank you very much for the sponsor. Very excited about the game. I loved the first one, so I'm very excited to be playing this one early. If you want to check out the game, by the way, there's a link in the description. I highly recommend you do, and I haven't even played it yet. I'm just that confident because the first one was so good. All right, let's get started. And world domination. I like him. He reminds me of me. We both have scars on our face. Oh, he even turns in his chair like me. I looked that evil when I did it, too. Or going with Maximilian. Ooh, and what house do I want? Oh, that looks fancy. But you know what? I like things simple. You know, I'm a minimal minimalist. <laughs> My vocabulary is very minimalistic as well, so that, that was a big word for me. Oh, look at him. He's running in for action. He's so cute. I mean, so evil. Sorry, sorry. Evil, not cute. All right, the first rule about being an evil genius is you build a vault right next to the entrance. The reason being, you want to seem, like, vulnerable. So the wannabe 007s come in <laughs> and they try <laughs> they try and steal your money, you know? You want to bait them in so you can kill them and get more infamy. Because if it's impenetrable, you'll only get the good people and they'll end up actually killing me. You want to seem like an easy target. Come on, get to work or I'll do some evil stuff or something. I, sorry, I'm new to being evil. <laughs> well, not really, I guess. <laughs> if you've watched some of my other videos. Fire in the hole. I'm coming in just like looking over their shoulder. Apparently people work faster when Max is around, so I'm I'm trying to give them morale here. All right, work harder, everyone. There you go, good job. Dream of world domination. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of sleeping while everyone else does the work. I made them a little, <laughs> a little bedroom. It's got like the whiteboards. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, this minion loves sweets. Oh God damn it, you're gonna hog all the sweets. This won't work. I'm going to terminate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, brutal! Just sucker punched him in the back of the head and now they're dead! Alright, well there's a dead body in the hall if someone could clean that up. I don't know, do we have janitors? Or like, could any minion do it? Or could someone move it? I know I'm like closest to it, but... <sighs> It's a bit below my pay grade. Hire six more minions. This is my objective. I wonder, was it five? But I killed that person. Defeated agents lie in body bags on the floor. Defeated agents? Yeah, that's a defeated agent. That'll warn off the new agents coming here. Look what we did to the last one. They're just like, but we didn't send anyone else. Who is that? Oh my god, if the agents are left on the floor dead, it loses my minions' morale. Imagine what one of their co-workers lying on the ground dead would do to them. Alright, we gotta build an incinerator and get rid of these bodies, I think. God, I built this, like, so inefficiently. Everything's just kind of landed everywhere. It's awful. There we go, incinerator built. Can someone uh, incinerate that body? Thank you very much. Now, that is proactive. I like that. I like it a bit too much. Kill this person. Like, I want them loyal, not smart. There you go. Get them. <laughs> ha ha. Bronze, beat, brain every time. Oh my god, that's where my island is? It's so inaccessible. But god, the weather must be good. All right, I gotta start my criminal network. These are the suggested areas. What about Ireland? Can we go to Ireland? <laughs> I want to go specifically to Ireland to start my criminal network. It wants me to go here, but I'm like, no. <laughs> want Ireland. Scout it out. Send me into the world, and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Is that an Irish joke? Are you making fun of us like the leprechaun? <laughs> thing. There you go, they've arrived. Okay, what scheme will I run? A bank robbery? Yes, launch scheme. I shall wait here. Maybe I shouldn't have executed that intelligent one earlier. <laughs> Might have been helpful. Anyway, you figure out the heist with Lester or whatever. I'm gonna build a jail. <laughs> you know, not, not for prisoners or anything. <laughs> Maximilian here is just a bit kinky. I'm putting the jail, like, in my casino for some reason. I think it would just be even more taunting. It's like, you don't even go in the lair. You're out in the casino. <laughs> We're not that worried. They all want coffee. Oh, my minions are so much like me. <laughs> They're all trying to be relatable. I feel like I have a lot of minions and not a lot of work. Or beds. <laughs> I have a serious lack of beds and even bigger lack of toilets. We have no toilets whatsoever, which explains why I don't serve coffee. Establish yourself as genius university and lure a hopeful to your island. That sounds fantastic. I'd love a few prisoners. All right, I'm building a classroom. I'm going to teach these minions a thing or two about being evil. There we go. I drew some squiggles all over the board to teach you a thing or two. So 
Can you be smart now? Yes, scientist. Fantastic, it worked. <laughs> Honestly, I think we just gave him a change of clothes and called him a scientist. Wait, why did I just get an achievement saying they're on to you? I don't, <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. Why are they on to me? What have I done? Did we rob the bank? We robbed the bank. Fantastic. Bodybuilders in Spain? All right, fine. Go for it. Get some bodybuilders for me. There we go. We kidnapped some bodybuilders. There's a guard in the UK you could kidnap as well. I just want loads of muscle. Wait, I don't know what this scheme is, but we need a popular pair of musicians, a stage, and a large cash prize. <laughs> okay, I want to set that scheme. Now we're going to steal some of the pop stars' clothes and auction them out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's an evil scheme if I ever heard one. Not quite, you know, Bond villain <laughs> level, but it's still pretty evil. Wait, wait, we got an agent? Someone actually tried to stop me? Oh my god, that means I'm making it. I'm threatening them. What? They escaped? What the hell? Somebody stopped them. <laughs> Can I do something? Oh, they, they got him. They just came up and was like, hey, get back in there. <laughs> and they just went back in. All right, we're going to interrogate you now. <laughs> We've never done this before, so sorry if we mess up. Oh, we, we messed up. We killed them. <laughs> All right, maybe we should have uh, tried that out a bit first rather than just going into the deep end. That's okay. That'll just build our infamy again, you know? When they hear back, it'd be like, they didn't even question. They just killed them and they just incinerated the body. God damn, my power keeps going out. This is embarrassing. Like, what if the agents figure out that I can't even keep the lights on? They're just gonna laugh at me. I'm sending them out to do random schemes. Like, I'm sending them to Scotland to fill a large loudspeaker with fish and call it art. <laughs> Let's hope someone buys it for a lot of money. A giant fan trap? Yes, begin research on that. I, I mean, I don't know why you need research. Just, just get, like, a big fan. <laughs> There's not much to explain, is there? Wait, I can interrogate a minion? Oh, that would have been a good idea to practice on someone. Capture. <laughs> just him for no specific reason. Oh, no, he's winning the fight. Someone else get him. He's still trying to continue his job. He's like, I know you're mad at me, but I gotta go incinerate this body. <laughs> rules are rules. There we go. You've been captured. How dare you defend yourself? I'm gonna interrogate you and try and figure out why you disobeyed me. <laughs> why wouldn't you just let yourself die, huh? There we go. Did that? Okay, we killed another one. All right. We're not very good at interrogation is what I'm trying to say here. Wilting numbers? That's because I keep killing them. <laughs> I just, if someone looks at me wrong, I kill them. Or if they look smarter than me, I kill them. Or if I'm bored, I interrogate them and then kill them. All right, minion training. Let's get some guards up in here. I need two, I think. I need some muscle because, like, it's embarrassing when I say guards guards sick him and then the guard i sent after him died like that was really embarrassing for me as an evil genius look at them go yep Wow, look at them go. Look at them. Oh my god, that was fast. You're naturals. God, that, that boxing bag fights back. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't like to use that. I don't want it going down in history that I lost a fight to a boxing bag. One of our minions has secretly gotten far too good into beekeeping, but the product is so good we should take it over and sell it for ourselves. Sure, it's mine now. That's part of the agreement. When you're a henchman, anything you come up with, it's mine. It belongs to the company. It's very common in the corporate world. Stop pausing the research into the giant fan. I want it really bad. I've just wanted one big fan all my life. Yes, good job with the honey. I mean, it just sounds like we started up a legitimate business here. Maybe we should go into that business. Or we could kidnap this band and take one of their members and hold them for ransom. I like that too. And we discovered the giant fan. We're making progress here. Next, work on the freeze ray. <laughs> That's quite a step up. You go giant fan, freeze ray. Wait, there's an agent? Hold on. I'm, I'm kidnapping a member of a band. Second, where's the agent? I didn't see an agent coming in. Wait, they're just walking in. What? They're not being very stealthy. <laughs> be fair, neither am I. The casino doesn't even look open. Terminate. No, capture. Capture them. No, it's, you're the worker. I got big muscly guards for this exact reason. You're gonna lose this fight. Or just send small minions one by one. That works too, I guess. <laughs> okay, good. We're ganging up on them now. They're surrendering. Fantastic. I don't play fair. I don't go one on one. One of your workers has turned against you. What? Wait, is this because of the coffee. It is, isn't it? I do the same. All right, we can kill them now. I think that the boss is going to do it. <laughs> Jesus, as you were punching them, I shot them in the chest. Uh, would you mind taking care of the body? You know, I kind of did the killing. I feel like you should pull your own weight too. That agent's quality was poor and they were gullible. Send a good agent after me. Come on, I'm worth it. An intensive care pod like this can officially deal with 1,000 boo-boos per hour. 
That's a lot of boo-boos. Jesus, I've made two of them then. I'd be the least intimidating evil genius ever. I'd be talking to the agent in the cell just like, do you know how many boo-boos you've given my men? Can I build those giant fans now? I really want some giant fans. There we go. Oh no, heat has reached max capacity in Europe. They kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> I keep just going out in broad daylight, kidnapping musicians and stuff. And I started a really nice like honey business, but I guess they didn't like that either. Maybe they did like the honey, but to be fair, you can't just let someone get away with kidnapping, murders, just because they make good honey. I guess it depends how good the honey is. You know what? I think it's time we launch this casino because I feel like I need a good cover for my racket here. My racket being world domination. <laughs> Not quite like the mafia where they just have some roulette tables in back or, you know, a brothel or something. I'm just going for world domination in the back room. Wait, there's a tourist? Do, uh, is this allowed? Do we just, like, the casino's not open yet. Wait, there's all tourists just walking in here. Don't let them in the lair, whatever you do. Turn on the giant fan. All right, we got this valet. We need to, uh, we need to just interrogate him and figure out what good customer service is. You know, the hospitality sector. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, actually hiring people, we kidnap them and just interrogate them for information. So how do you make people like you? There we go. Thanks for your valet secrets. Should have probably just offered you a job, but now you're dead. These things things happen. Not enough gold to complete this construction. What do you mean not enough gold? Is it because I'm <laughs> investing in the freeze ray? I didn't even use my biggest fan yet. I've just always wanted to meet my biggest fan. I couldn't resist. I might need to do some schemes. Could you steal me some money? What's this scheme? More beekeeping? I'm all for it. Very profitable, surprisingly. Honestly, this world domination thing, not so profitable. Beekeeping, hugely profitable. If only there was a way to make it evil. Maybe we could train the bees to be angry and attack the agents. Head to the minion training screen to request some advanced minions. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Instead of spending the money where I needed it in the training room, I spent it on this freeze ray. All right, I'm thinking roulette because everyone will just come in and bet on black. It's just the roulette way. And I should end up winning more because they'll get greedy. They'll say, oh, black one, I'll just do it again. I know, I've done this myself. <laughs> Stupid Taurus. I feel like I am really playing with fire in Europe because they, the heat keeps reaching the max level here. And like, I'm really close to them. Keep an eye out for incoming agents. Oh wait, they're already saying look out for agents, oh God. Oh no, there's so many people now. Oh my God, here comes another agent. Maybe it won't be that hard to figure them out because they walk really funny. So they're not the best agents, are they? <laughs> they all have the same walking pattern. Can we distract you? Fancy betting it all on black by any chance? Okay, so the valet is going up. Hey, free spin on the roulette tables. I like how this is the secure door and this one is just a normal door. So any guest could wander in here looking for the bathroom and they're just going to get frozen. Oh, here comes the agent. Um... We're we just gonna keep walking by her. <laughs> the valet just came in and was like, hey, get out, and they just left. They really are the worst agent ever. All these slot machines are broken. In fact, all this equipment is broken. Will I just sell it all? Abandoned crates, that's fetching a pretty penny. No one can resist the mystery prize. <laughs> just throw it up on the Facebook marketplace. I don't know what's in it, it's a mystery box. $1,000, okay, nice open plan now. <laughs> a casino with only two roulette tables and nothing else, nuclear jet generator. That's what we need. We need nukes. Uh, to the scientists, I'll say, oh, it's just, it's just for the power, you know? Uh, the power keep going out and the lights and, oh, you know that, uh, Klaus is scared of the dark. I don't know what accent my evil genius has. He's just trying to put on an evil accent, but he's just like some random dude from Utah. Poor Scotland. There's been a spike in kidnappings because I keep targeting them directly for some reason. Wait, what? Oh my god, okay, they're building. I thought it was on fire. I, I forgot that I literally asked them to build that a second ago. What is this area? I want to build a corridor to here because I don't understand it, but it looks scary and maybe a bottomless pit might be intimidating for agents, you know? You know, I think it's intimidating enough knowing that everyone I have interrogated has died. Oh, damn it. I can't get through. It must be for a specific thing. Maybe some, like, super weapon or something. Ah, well, the corridor is there for when I need it. <laughs> right now, it's just to confuse the agents. They come down here thinking this must be the way, and it's just nothing. Just a dead end. I built a fake door there. It's actually for a broken toilet. <laughs> I mean, you could just pee off into the bottomless pit, I suppose. It's in progress, alright? We'll have bathrooms eventually. The poor tourists. They just have to go in the 
see, I guess. Yes, more items. Okay, great. I just want to build like a successful casino. <laughs> Honestly, that's where the real money is. Head to the minion training screen to request some advanced minions. Hold on, I'm working on my casino. All right, get to work, everyone. I want to work in casino here instead of just a room with two roulette tables. Things always have a tendency to explode. Wait, what? what? Something exploded? Hold on, what? <laughs> where are you just warning me about explosions? Now, what are the odds of that? I don't need fire extinguishers. Austin Prowlers. There's a man out there claiming to be a super spy with a horrendous accent. We should see if we can make some money off that. Yes, <laughs> launch scheme. We'll launch a successful movie franchise. Boxing glove trap? That seems a bit primitive, given that I have a freeze ray and this giant fan, but okay. I'll put it in this hallway, just in case they are stupid enough to come this way. Honestly, it's more so for the health inspector. I don't want them realizing our only bathroom doesn't actually exist. Look at this casino, huh? Can we get, like, a show going or something? Yes, nukes! I mean... Nuclear power, clean and safe. Oh my god, another agent coming in. Capture them, lock them up. I like how my jail isn't even in the lair. It's literally on the casino floor. Like, all these tourists can see it every time the door opens. Like, look how plain that is to see. Like, guy's even standing in there. Oh, now the workers are getting in a brawl on the casino floor. You're scaring the tourists. Somebody get up there and sing now. We're getting our chair all fixed up to do some interrogating. It's got a lot of use. A lot of people died in this chair, I'll have you know. All right, also, this minion's new. It's his first day, so sorry if he's a little bit rough with you. Oh yeah, you've, you died. Sorry about that. Again, gotta start somewhere. Yes, the singing will distract them. Let it go, let it go. All right, you don't know the words, but some nanas are intriguing this guy. He loves it. God, my casino's failing. <laughs> Thank God this isn't my primary business. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Hold on. Uh, why are you bringing in, like, 20 tourists on this cruise ship? Oh, there better not be any agents on that thing. <laughs> it's probably a whole ship of agents. This is highly suspicious. Even the way they're all standing, like social distancing up there. Okay, the first one off the boat is walking like that. Look at you disguising yourself. I saw you. <laughs> they immediately just leave. <laughs> They're like, oh, damn. I might have been spotted. <laughs> Maybe you should have changed on the boat. I would have been just like, oh, one of my workers is back from one of their assignments. Great. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at them. There's loads of them. How, how can we stop this? Maybe they're just the band, actually. <laughs> it does look like some Broadway musical, <laughs> the way they're walking. Uh, guys, <laughs> there's five agents heading straight towards our lair. <laughs> like, they went to the roulette tables and stuff, but I don't know if we should trust that they're just tourists. All right, me kill. I'm just opening fire here. <laughs> oh God, why did I stay here? Dude, run, run. Get out of here. Let the minions deal with it. There we go. Jesus, that was bad. Maybe we should move one of these traps. Where's that boxing glove? All right, I've changed it around a bit. So now this is technically a corridor and we can build our boxing glove trap here. I feel like I haven't been like terrifying enough to my minions. Like they respect me, but they don't fear me. And that's not what I want. I'm just gonna start opening fire in the hallway, I think. There we go. Now I've gotten their respect. Oh, I hope that wasn't our singer. <laughs> he was bringing in so many customers. Wait, oh my god, I scared some people and they tried to flee and the freeze ray went off. Oh no, wait, there's just an agent right there. Why is no one doing anything? <laughs> Probably too afraid. Oh my god, a straight gunfight is breaking out here. Jesus Christ. All the gunfire <laughs> when this guy's just trying to play roulette. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I feel like I've got a successful casino. I've got some singing acts going. There's probably the guy I kidnapped from the band. I got my holding cell, which is rigged with the boxing glove. I got traps. I got nuclear power. I feel like I have reached evil genius status. Plus, there was just a bloodbath in the hall, which is always good. That's the scene you show so you don't feel sympathy for the bad guy. You know, you just want him to die. But I will end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Evil Genius 2 World Domination for the sponsor. Super appreciate it. Absolute blast, as I knew it would be. Just like the first game. Just so, so fun. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.